Well, one of the main uh, challenges that our customers are facing right now is they see an ever-increasing uh, amount of traffic through their networks, but at the same time, the revenue from traditional services is uh, declining. So what they need from us, what they're looking for uh, Nokia to deliver is uh, new technologies, new products that allow them to meet that challenge, to reduce cost, but also to enable more uh, innovative services. And um, so the next wave of routing is going to have to be based on, on technology that allows you to do that increased density, efficiency of your platforms, but at the same time maintain the programmability, the flexibility to deliver differentiating services. So uh, virtualization is uh, obviously a very big uh, topic in our industry right now. Uh, and we're very committed to that. As, uh, as you know, we are virtualizing basically every application that today runs on our specialized hardware. Uh, we're delivering a virtualized version of that as well. Uh, but they are complementary developments, right? So it is obviously a trade-off between the two. Uh, and customers need to look at the, the total cost of ownership to make the right decision. If one of the key parameters, of course, is going to be the throughput requirements. As soon as uh, the throughput increases uh, above a certain level, then specialized hardware is going to be more efficient. But virtualized applications do make sense for control plane applications, for uh, virtualizing value-added services like DPI appliances, firewalls, uh, for virtualized uh, gateways as well, mobile gateways as well as IPH applications. Uh, so uh, for, uh, depending on the capacity, that's definitely a valid deployment uh, scenario. The coming together of uh, the former uh, Alcatel Lucent and the former Nokia is, is obviously a, a very big event, especially for our mobile business, because Nokia has always been a world leader in, uh, in mobile networking. So, so now combining those companies gives us access to much more resources and expertise in the mobile packet core area as well. So we're combining those teams uh, and that's going to allow us to deliver leading solutions to address the upcoming evolution of IoT and 5G eventually as well. And that's already, I think, obvious in the, uh, the way we're approaching uh, virtualized packet core applications, which is the main uh, deployment choice for uh, packet core these days. Um, uh, by combining those resources, I think we can deliver a very innovative cloud-optimized uh, mobile packet core solution uh, by leveraging these, uh, the, the expertise from both companies. So.